Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing like a vlog type um, video. It's three o'clock right now, so it is the afternoon. Um, I just finished doing my makeup. It's just a very warm eye, smoky eye look with a lot of glowy face and then a cool tone lip. Um, and all morning I did spend like cleaning my room, decluttering things um, because today I do want to take you guys along with me. I'm going to be rearranging my makeup. Um, I have a little bit of an issue right now where I feel like my makeup just needs to be rearranged because there's a lot of like cramming going on um, and I'm just not really happy with how it's organized so we're going to be doing that today. But first I do think I am going to be going to the drugstore because I have seen a bunch of pictures of new releases and stuff like on Instagram and online and I do want to go see what I can find in store um, because I'm really excited about some of the products so I will take you guys along with me for that. So I just got a package that came in from Sephora um, and the main things I got were the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter which I do want to show you guys it's so beautiful. This is it right here I have to hold it up like to the light so you guys can see this. Look how gorgeous this highlighter is. It's so pretty and I'm so excited to try it out. And then I also got the Subculture palette, which I did use on my eyes today. I haven't even swatched all the shades yet, but I did use it on the eyes. You can see the shades I kind of dipped into today. And I used some of the warmer shades to create that really warm look you guys saw. Um, I'm really excited to continue, oops. I'm really excited to further play around with this um, because the shades in this are so interesting and I love Anastasia's uh, formula, but I have heard a lot of controversy on these shades, so I do want to continue trying it out. I'm very excited about it. And then for samples, I got this Dior Glow Better uh, Fresh Jelly Mask. I'll give that a go. And then this uh, Dermalogica Primer. The best one I got though was this, and this is the Clinique um, Beyond Perfect uh foundation and concealer and this is like a little deluxe sample this is an amazing size actually for like a sample foundation because i will definitely get some use out of this and i wanted to try this for the longest time but i definitely don't need any more full-size foundation so this is perfect and this is in the shade um linen 01 and this one's over here kind of got lost in the mix this is the full proof brow powder this is a nice little sample too it just comes with a little brow powder right here so I'm gonna give that a go as well um but yeah I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that came in um let me know if you guys want like a review on the subculture and the emrezine uh highlighter if you guys want to see like one video with them combined I can do that uh, with the subculture and emrezy highlighter since they are both from Anastasia but if you guys want to see like two separate review videos or like first impressions and stuff with them um I definitely will be doing like eye looks with this palette so let me know what you guys want to see um, with those products, but I just wanted to show you guys that. So the thing with my makeup right now, like I'll show you guys this drawer right here. This is my foundation, concealer, and primer drawer. As you can see, this drawer is a complete and utter mess. I have all my primers just kind of stacked. Over here I have foundation stacked, and my concealers are fine at the moment, but I do want to fix up this drawer. This drawer right here is also a mess. I've just got so many random things all in one place. Like back here, I have a bunch of contour products, some highlight, um, like liquid highlighters, color correctors, powders, and setting sprays. I think it's just a mess. And then my palettes are getting a little out of hand. We don't really have much room in here, and I also moved a ton in here. So I do want to fix that up. Um, this drawer is full of blushes, highlights, and bronzers, but then I also have all these highlighters just stuffed in the back there, so I want to fix this up because it's just getting too many products in one drawer. Um, my lip drawer, I just took a bunch of things out. This is why this section's empty, and I put them, like, up on my vanity, um, and I do like having things displayed on my vanity, so I do need to reorganize this drawer now. And then this drawer is probably the scariest. It doesn't even close anymore. Um, and this is just a ton of skincare products. So we're definitely going to have to go through that. Um, and what I spent the morning doing was actually cleaning out this side of my Alex drawer unit. Um, I used to have office supplies in like most of these drawers. But now this drawer is empty. And so is this one. I just have some containers and my colored contacts. So 
this is great because now I have two open drawers that I can move stuff from the nine set Alex drawer to this one down here. So we're going to do that later today. But first, I do want to go to the drugstore since I can get what I need to get and then include those into my organization today. Before I go, I do want to do a little outfit of the day. I have this crop top turtleneck um, top right here from H&M and it's like a purple crop top with like little glitters in it. And then I have these like high-waisted tie-up um, dress pants. They're super cute and they have like little slits at the bottom and these are from Urban Planet. They were so inexpensive, but I think they're adorable. I'm at the drugstore now. I have my little basket so we can start shopping. This is where it really gets exciting. Wet and wild. We have the new halo liquid glow. Definitely gonna have to pick up some of the things right here because they're looking so pretty. Some new highlights. It doesn't look like they have the shade right here, but they do have this one. So definitely picking up. One of these, look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. We have the new primers. This is awesome. Love to try this. And this one right here is the matte one, but it's the same formula as their old primer, which I already have, so I'm not gonna pick up this one. The brow pencil down here. Definitely gonna have to try that. And also, new lip liners and they are on sale some new palettes here now how much does this look like modern renaissance definitely gonna have to try that all right we also have new stuff from essence so they came out with a new foundation definitely gonna have to pick up some of that they also came out with these which are like liquid eyeshadows so i think i'm gonna put all of these to review for you guys because they are gorgeous so excited about these and then they also came out with some stick Highlighters. This one's like a prismatic one, which looks so interesting. And then they also have new lip glosses, which I do want to try. These are their shine, shine, shine lip glosses. So for Maybelline, we have the new Super Stay Foundation. This one looks really nice. I think this one might be a good match for me. But they do have testers, so we'll see. So guys, I just got back and I have my big bag right here of goodies. All right, so I think I'm gonna start reorganizing my makeup. I think it's time, I'm ready. So the first drawer I wanna tackle is this right here. This is my foundation, concealer, and primer drawer. And I'm happy with my concealers and foundations in here, but I do wanna take out all these primers. Now that these are all out, I do wanna rearrange these. So the concealers are fine where they are. But I'm just gonna take out all these foundations. All right, so this is what this drawer looks like right now. Maybe you guys a little closer so you can see. A lot more organized, and I just like that I can see all my foundations now, and they're not stacked upon each other, so happy with that drawer. So I'm thinking to move my primers and everything like that in this bottom drawer. Um, I just want to take out some of this stuff back here because these don't need to be in here. So I'm just going to take out all these setting sprays. I'm also going to take out all these loose powders as well. Keep these all together. Things that don't need to be in here, I have these... Lumi Glotions, but these are more like highlighters. I don't think these need to be in here. Um, doesn't make sense for them to be. I have all of these contouring products, so I'm gonna take these out of the drawer and move them probably to a different drawer later. So I've decided I want my primers, my setting sprays, my powders, and my color correctors in here. So I'm just gonna move them onto here and organize them that way. All 
All right, so this drawer right here, I'm gonna take out all my bronzers and my blushes, I think, out of here and move it over to the other Alex unit. All right, so here's the drawer right now. I have all my blushes lined up with two at the front here because they didn't fit. A cream blush, a little palette, and then on this side, I have my bronzers right here, and then all of these are like contour packs, so powder, um, cream one under here, and then these are all like contour stick type products. So I'm really happy with how this drawer looks, and I think this one is good to go. All right, so now I'm gonna take all the highlighters out of this drawer and just kind of lay them out on my desk. So these are all the compact ones and then I do have two glow kits right here and three like smaller highlighting palettes. And then the rest of the products in here are all stick and liquid highlights. So this is what the drawer looks like now. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Of course, it's new and I have to get used to it. But I kind of like having these like this because it's a lot easier than having them laying down over laughing each other. And then I just have these two containers of highlights right here, all of my highlights. And then these two, these back here are like bigger compacts. And then I have all my stick highlighters, cream highlighters, and all my liquids right here, which are all laying down flat which I do kind of like them this way so this is now the new highlighter drawer so the next drawer I have to deal with it is this one over here now in this one I have smaller eyeshadow palettes and all my singles but now since I just got a bunch of new liquid um, eyeshadows I think I want to reorganize this drawer so I'm gonna take out all these palettes and honestly these aren't even that small of palettes I just keep them here because I don't have room in my other drawer and this container right here is full of smaller palettes now I'm okay what is that doing <laughs> I'm okay with these palettes being in here since these are like quads and stuff now here are all my singles now honestly I don't use singles that often so I think I might move these over onto the other side since I'm not reaching for them on an every single day basis so I just moved my eyeshadow primers here. I only have a few of them. I don't actually have that many. And then all of these right here are actually like eyeshadow, uh, like bigger eyeshadow sticks and stuff. I'm gonna grab all of these Metal Shock ones from what, uh, Essence. And these are gonna go with all of these that I already have. All right, so this is what I have right now. All my single eyeshadows, cream, ColourPop. These are all like uh, bigger jumbo sticks, primers, and then I have all my uh, metallic ones. So this is this drawer right now, and I'm actually pretty happy with it. So I think this is how this one's gonna stay. All right, so now we have an empty drawer right here. So I think I'm gonna put a ton of palettes in here. I still kind of like this organizer with the quad, so I think I'm gonna keep that. Now I have two drawers of palettes and I'm fine with that. Right, so now let's get into the lip drawer. I do want to fully rearrange this um, because it's a mess at the moment. So let's just do that. These are the two lipstick containers all right these are lip liners in here i kept them in this container but it was so annoying so i think i'm just gonna move them into here so 
here is the lip drawer so far. This is crazy. I know who needs this much lip products. No clue. So this is what it's looking like right now. I think it's pretty nice. It's all compact. I can see all my colors. Everything's nice. The drawer still closes. Kind of heavy though. We've reached the monster drawer. So I'm just going to take every single thing out of this drawer for now. And then we'll go from there. Here is the drawer now. How much better does this look? So I've got like serum type products here, moisturizers, these are like oils and stuff, um, lip balms, eye creams, mask type products. I have Vaseline and uh, hand cream, blotting sheets. So it's just so much easier and accessible and I'm really happy with that. Rico, say hi buddy. Yeah, you're so cute. All right, guys, so we are done, and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and liked coming around with me and organizing my makeup with me and stuff. If you want to see more videos like this of me, um, you know, organizing makeup, going through stuff, if you want to see like more vlog type videos where I kind of take you through my day, let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to do that. But I hope you guys are having a great morning or night or evening or whatever time of day it is uh, where you are. I hope you're having a good one. But anyways, I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.